Good morning, Floss Tube. Good morning. Um, welcome to Crafty Cottage Stitches for Floss Tube number 11. I'm Heather. I'm Jeanette. And today is January 30th, Saturday. And this is our Floss Tube channel where we talk about cross stitching and crafting, um, lots quilting. of quilting and sewing this week, probably. Um, shopping probably hauls so. <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And it's going to be a long one, so... We have a lot to show today. We have some things that people have been asking about, so we'll do... And some organizing, that sort of stuff. Yep. Um, so yeah, we're going to get started. Thank you for all the nice comments that you left last week. Thank you for everybody that reaches out to us on Instagram. Um, it's really nice to get to know everybody, and... I love it. I love seeing how, you know, how nice people are and how... Positive. Positive, and how there are fans, and... <laughs> You know, meeting how they people, like my yeah. patterns and that kind of stuff. <laughs> and meeting like my decorating. I yeah. Like that. <laughs> so. so that's really nice. Yep. Um, so. so keep doing that. Please. And shout out to Heather North. Heather North. Heather North. Um, <laughs> we forgot to say it last time. She's a. Um, she's local. She's very local. Like right down the street. I think. Much. What's her channel? Heather's Creative he Blessings. That's her Instagram. On Instagram. She's Heather's Creative Blessings. And then. To find her on um, YouTube, just I looked up Heather North Floss Tube. So she's newer to Floss Tube, but she's had a YouTube channel um, for paper crafting, right? Cards and, and stuff. Yeah, and she stitches a lot of the same stuff yeah. um, we do. She's a quilter, yeah. paper crafter. I'm not sure if she's yeah. going to show that on her channel, but um, check her out. Check her out. We totally forgot to say that last time. and I so that's We shut off our gonna... camera and we were just like, oh my gosh. So we, we forgot this, that, and whatever. This time. And then and I, I forgot also, my notes at home. <laughs> I wanted to shout out Merritt Crawford. I know I've mentioned her before, but if you guys haven't watched her, um, she has a wonderful channel. She makes beautiful things, um, so check her out too. Um, I'm making something, and it made me think of her. So Is she the fun. one that She'll... she didn't have a floss tube recently, or no? She does. Oh, she does. Yeah, okay, she does. So okay. Anybody else that you can think of? I've been talking to Mrs. Holly Does she have a floss Jones. Tube? She doesn't have a floss tube. She has never watched floss tube. <laughs> she's on Instagram and she's been stitching one of my patterns and so we've been chatting. We're now buddies. So yeah. So it's wonderful. We're meeting yeah. So check her out on Instagram. She's she's um she's got she's really good at stitching. Her stitching is really beautiful. And she uses color and cotton, which I've never tried before, so She's kind of oh, inspiring wanted, me for yeah. that. I want some of their fabric. Ooh, yeah. So, okay, so we have oh, yes. a lot of stuff. What? Well, let's get started real quick. Um, we did the gift card oh, giveaway right. last week. We had one of our people reach out to us, but we did not hear back from Kathy Wilson. Um, Kathy with an I. So, Kathy, if you can reach out to us on YouTube and on our Instagram and just let us know what email address you want that gift card sent to. Um, and we'll give you until our next video, so two weeks from today. Um, and then if we don't hear from you, we'll just um, go ahead and draw again. Um, right, yeah, because I know it's been kind of slow starting to watch YouTube yeah. and stuff again after the holidays. Yeah. So we'll give you, and we didn't specify, so. Yep. Um, so two more weeks, let yeah. us know where you want that sent to, and we'll get that sent out to you. Um, yeah. Okay. So we have FFOs, only one each, and... Heather's is cuter, so we'll let her show first. <laughs> so this is that kitty pattern I was going to make for my daughter, or I made for my daughter. I used, um, for the kitty here, I used Lizzie Kate's kitty string, and then the paws and the yarn ball are also, are also from there. And I just pulled them and stuck them on here how I wanted them, and then I did my own hearts. And I backstitched kitty for her. And this is just a little pillow for her to carry around, and she loves it. So it turned out cute. super cute. It was the first time I did ball fringe, sewed ball fringe on anything. Um, so that was interesting. Not too terrible. I just did a <laughs> pillow. It's not super straight. It's kind of well. It's kind of a pain because it's lumpy. So you got to tuck it back yeah. behind the yeah. It's cute. And then this is Lori Holt um, flea market. Flea market. Right? Yep. Both of these. This was from that charm pack that you gave me. Oh, really? Yeah, and then this one I had for the quilt that I'm making, the best friend's quilt. But yeah, there's that. It turned out super cute, I love it. I love it. 
Um, I just used stuffing. And you from didn't bring the pattern for the kitty string. No. It's the kitty it's string. It's the kitty from string from Lizzie, Lizzie Kate. Kate. That's that's also something my daughter's been carrying around because it's just like a little fold out <laughs> card. <laughs> Whatever. Um, and I just used stuffing from an extra bed pillow I had around the house that we don't use. Oh really? Yeah. I just, Dude, I have stuff. Well, I know, but I just, I wanted to finish it, and so I thought, yeah, well, we don't whatever. use this pillow, Three I might as well cut it open second. and pull, and now I've got a ton of stuffing, so. Cute. So I that. have one FFO. Um, it is the, I'm not, take that out. she'll take that out. The January um, sampler of the, what's it called? Country Cottage, sampler you know, of the month. January Sampler, Sampler Jam. of the Month, this yeah. guy. So, I changed everything, changed the colors. Um, I, we talked about last week, I think, that I'm not doing the upper part on all of them. I was going to make it into a pillow. Oh, that works right there. I was going to make it into a pillow, but the pillow would have been really big for where I'm going to put it. So, I have, well, I've said, a large collection of vintage frames. I painted the frame white, distressed it. I changed every color. Um, the lines here, I did every other one so it wouldn't be so heavy. I outlined the windows because it made them pop because I used a little bit darker blue. Um, if you want to know the colors, let me know. But Because I wanted to put it on aqua because it's going to go in here, um, the other colors didn't work at all. Um, and I kind of have a thing for that seaweed. It's Weeks Dye Works Seaweed Green. I love it. It's so pretty. So there's my little sample of the month. fabric we dyed. Yep, and it's the, it's actually the Kelly Green and um, Evening Blue, but I tea dyed over it, so you can kind of see up here, there's a little bit of just, changed it a little bit, just enough to make it snowy. So I have an idea where I'm going to put this, and I'll show it in a little bit. Um, so I didn't want it really big, because I want to do maybe some little snowflake pillows or something to go around. So that's my FFO, and as usual scrap of paper on the back to use it up so that's it give me other finishes keep... um no okay. no so we'll move on to whips then so that's part of my morning stitch because um i do a morning stitch with t with brenda brenda holzman <laughs> <laughs> she does her littles in the morning so um if i'm not working on my uh, christmas ornament then that's what i work on so. i just remembered another whip i have at home but that's okay you have a lot? I do. Okay, you can go ahead. <laughs> I'll um, open mine up while we do, while you go through I didn't yours. do a ton of stitching this time around. I stitched most all on my own patterns. My patterns from White House Stitchery. So, I decided for um, So In Love that I'm going to stitch each of these squares separately. So I started doing that this time around. And oh, this is the one that... that. Um, Holly, Mrs. Holly Jones on Instagram, she finished this and she did it all in color and cotton. She just changed out the colors. Um, it's really beautiful. She did like aqua hearts and stuff. So, and I've posted that on my Instagram too. Oh, she did an aqua heart? Mm -hmm. She did Ooh. aqua outlines on the hearts. Yeah, check it out. It's really cute. So this is how far I've gotten. I still need to rip these out these three white hearts. I have an extra row of white in there. And I did not notice that, like, at all. I even started stitching the gray around it yesterday, and I'm like, why is this not laying up right? But I need to rip them out, that's why. So this should be done pretty quickly. I have some finishing ideas on this. And this is just a fabric that we dyed years ago. It's kind of like a sagey aqua. Oh, that's good. That's a good representation yes. of it. That's it. And the, the writing's pretty light on it, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be seen from across the room or anything. No. It's pretty and subtle. I love it. Are we clapping back and forth? Yeah. Okay. So I worked on, so remember I'm doing the four seasons. Actually, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> so I'm doing um, the farmer's daughter. This is on floor. <laughs> this cute one right here from Little House. Let me see it pretty good. Um, and so I worked on that and talk about ripping out my goodness and I so this is my summer I'm calling this summer for now because I'm starting a new one tomorrow but I worked on the farmhouse 
And oh my gosh, I forgot to go one over here, so I ended up having to rip out a whole bunch. I probably could have been done with the house, but um, yeah, so that's what I worked on. I put the lace on the bottom of her skirt. I'm changing, I changed a little bit of the colors, but I think this will be cute hanging in here. It's kind of fun to work on. It's, I mean, if you don't mess up, it's really easy, so. It's really, really cute. Isn't it cute? Yeah. I love the colors, and this fabric, too, is one we dyed. Um, it's kind of aqua oh, Those strawberries are adorable. Well, that's, I love, well, I love strawberry anything. I actually collect strawberry transfer wear. Yeah, it's quite a bit more aqua than it's showing in here. I know. They're kind of, this is way more. Way. Yeah. I think it's because it's up against your shirt. There we Maybe. go. That's a good. Yeah, it's aqua. Yeah. It's pretty dark, too, but it's not showing that on there. But anyway, so that's my summer stitch. You um, have to name her. I don't know. Felicia. Okay. That's a farmer <laughs> girl's name. I'm not going to put farmer's daughter on here. I am not a farmer's daughter. <laughs> at all. Fisher. I've only, I've only ever man. had one dog and a, a few cats. So. <laughs> well, yeah, but... Daughter doesn't I mean you're a farmer. Well, I would have had critters growing up. That's true. We had one dog. What anyway, did you hear her? my daughter's on one today, so yeah. you might hear her in the background. <laughs> the next one is another one of my patterns. White House to Tree. It's called Be Mine. And then I also, for this one, um, you can see it on my Instagram. I have done another pattern on this, like on, in the same purchase where this says Busy Bee. So if you didn't want to do it as like a Valentine pattern, you could do Busy Bee instead. You're going to see us bending over a lot. We have a lot of stuff, and I've kind of got it all put around us. So, so that's my progress on that. And it is super cute. I'm really... Oh, man, I love those colors. Is that I, Queen Bee? It is. <laughs> so that that's is the first the time best. I've used Queen Bee. Oh, that's my favorite. Yeah, I mean, look at all the variation in that. I know. It's in awesome. That. It makes it look like yeah. a bee scap. So. Um, makes sense. Don't judge me <laughs> for this ridiculous piece of fabric. I cut a bunch <laughs> off of it to use it for other stuff, too. Um, I'm working on having nicer stitches. When I was stitching this, I realized that this is pretty sloppy looking. I don't know. It looks fine in here. It looks totally fine in but, here. But um, I'm a really tight stitcher, and so when I was stitching on this very thin linen, I could really tell. I think that must be the same piece I did this, um, or close to the, with the same fabric. Yeah, because it's it was very really thin. easy to pull. I love it. And I was just doing it at night or whatever, and this is one we dyed too. And it's I a love beautiful stitching color, on linen, but but I, Oh my gosh, that's cute. Dang it. It's super cute. So that's on my Etsy shop. Oh, I need to finish that up. I need to have like, and I might actually change that to be busy bee. I think so. So, Cause you, I can, and then give it to me, and I can put it next to my little honey pot. Sure. <laughs> okay. Do you have your next one? So I had to give up, quit, whatever you want to call it. You did? Yeah, the bunny heads. Oh yes. I decided to um, scrap that because. Honestly, it's really not my style. Um, when I decorate for Easter, I kind of really like a more springy, kind of springy Beatrix pottery yeah. kind of look. So it wasn't, and I'm gonna that. So I, it's this one. I think it is the cutest pattern ever. I don't know. Maybe someday down the road I might do it, but it doesn't fit in with my Easter stuff. So. And um, I don't have a lot of Easter stuff, so yeah, I so will probably stitch it eventually. Definitely. Um, and this would be really cute for Here's my bag. daughter. She oh, no, really that's like not that. the bag, so. It, and it's the cutest thing, but I, anyway, so to take the place of that, because I'm kind of working on trying to get some things made for in here, I am, um, I started this for my kind of spring thing, um, Sue Hillis. Totally going to change all the thread cover colors, because you know, to go more in here with the aquas and maybe a pink and a yellow or something. Um, but it comes with even the little scissor charm. What? Ah! Like <laughs> Can't do that. It comes <laughs> with the little scissor charm, so. Sorry. Beep. Beep. <laughs> but here's my start for that. So. That's a lot of stitching. It's a lot of black. <laughs> Not going to lie. Um, this is on 32 count antique white, I think. White or antique white, um, which are my go-tos. But so there's the start. I really need to get stuff on the walls in here. Um, so yeah, so that's what I started for my 
my spring day. Actually, my spring three days, because I've been working actually three days in a row, and it's... So if I skip a day or two of stitching, because I tend to do that, um, then I just take out whatever, start three days from there. We've been sewing there. a lot. I have been sewing a lot. I've been really trying to keep up with that. Um, the best friends quilt along. <laughs> and I'm doing it. I've never done a quilt along before. I've never done a no. stitch along. Um, so... It's I'm doing it. I'm just a little bit I don't bit have behind. a baby. No. I can stay up till 1 o'clock in the morning. My daughter actually this week, like, all of a sudden was all about the independent play. To the point where I was looking up, is it okay for her to be playing independently for as long as she is? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I told her just ride with it. <sighs> she doesn't, like, she normally is right there with me. And there were things that she always wants to do with me, like vacuuming. I couldn't even get her to do that, so... I was like, whatever. Hey, man, no, I had some, that's how I got her pillow done. Hope the next day is going to be like that, that in my world. Um, my okay. kids still don't independent play all the time, and, and they're kind of needy. <laughs> I'm waiting for that day. All right. The next one yeah, I have been stitching on is my new pattern that I haven't released yet, but I'm going to show you guys. It'll be out this weekend, you know, when I get time to do that. So that's what I've gotten done. And this is one of the fabrics that I dyed this week. I dyed 15 pieces of fabric. This is... I get some of it on Bill Ray. Sure. I want a piece of that one, actually. This was the platinum. Oh, wow. So my that's mom had bought good. a piece of platinum that we really just... It was kind of a pinky khaki, not really our color. I had over dyed it with taupe and pearl and... A whole bunch of different it stuff. It was yucky. So then I over dyed it again with the um kelly green and evening blue combination that we do and it turned out awesome it really did that was a good size piece of fabric too there's another half to this i okay. think and that one might some of them like that one actually might be very modely it's very modeled on one side and the other side's not as modeled but this isn't going to be very big and i'll show you the pattern it'll probably cut off right here so there's this whole top piece and we've been doing a lot in the jar we really love yes. that thank you i had a really good time um, dying who did that mama loves gb yes is who we saw she did walnut um ink crystals in jars and i that's my new go-to yeah. now so there's my new pattern it's called love grows here it's a little garden shed and it's kind of valentine -y themed because i'm going to be doing like seasonal like a seasonal series with the garden sheds and garden stuff. Isn't that the cutest thing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm stitching up the um, this little part right now. Oops, oops, oops. This little guy here. The birdhouse and the shed sign. Kind of like my shed. Yeah. Very similar to that. Yep. So that, take a uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. That'll be probably tonight or tomorrow that I release that. So my... I did the, this one, right, from Paul Vaughn. Um, I worked on it for three days. I actually got a lot done. I had only had, like, right here, the basket, and up to about right here. And I um, finished the quilt. So it is almost there. I've got to do, like, the there's, I don't know, like, siding strips here, and then backstitch, and it'll be done. I might be able to finish it, depending on... How much stitching time I have? Gosh, I can't speak. Stitching time I have the next three-day um, kind of rotation, but I love it so much. It'll be really pretty in here. Um, but I love it. So. Yeah, it's very light. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, so that was that my... Quilt. Yeah, that did turn out really awesome. Okay, so I'm not going to I'm not gonna even lie. That's a lot of switching that thread is, colors. If you'd seen the board, I had a board like this covered with threads. That's You can't pretty. travel. Yeah, you can't travel with that. Oh, you can. Oh, you can? Yeah, be, well, I don't. Right. Because I don't like know. the lumpy back, but you can travel a little bit because this is solid. solid oh, okay. All solid, so you can a little bit. Um, I just meant on the quilt itself because there's that white. The good thing about confetti stitches, I know a lot of people don't like them, but you have so many reference points once you get yes. certain colors in that... It's easier to keep track where you are because you have several points where you can kind of like count here, mm -hmm. there, whatever. Um, but I just worked on this all, I think, the weekend after our last video and got it done. 
it kind of became obsessive to me. To it's so it 3D. It's I know, and it's awesome. thick, man. This yeah. is almost like as thick as a quilt. So, I love it. So there was my pull of on, and that is all that I worked on for stitching. Me too. Well, I have one at home. I worked on my, um, for Thirsty Thursdays, I worked on my You're My Cup of Tea pattern. Oh, yeah. That's the one you forgot, right? Yeah, I forgot at home. I think I have the cup pretty much done, and a couple of the hearts in. I have the frame done on that, so I'll post a picture of that next week. And then next... I have, yes, I'll show my fabrics, but um, I had somebody reach out to me on Instagram, Tanya, she's local to us, she wanted to do, um, she wanted to know if I would want to do a stitch along with my Cozy Winter Wishes pattern, she's got a group of friends that they like to do different stitch alongs, and I said, yes, I would love to do that, so. Now I have to stitch it, like, right yeah. now, because I've seen people doing it, and it is the cutest. Heather thing. North, it, um. Is working on it and that's actually what motivated Tanya I think well um, and Jennifer finished it yeah and, Jennifer I mean, fully from finished stitching with it. the waves finished it and she has an FFO on it and it's so beautiful so check her out on Instagram um, and in her floss tube video she shows it too but I'm starting this February 1st um, some people have already started it a little bit and then they've kitted it up and I talked about it on Instagram so if you want to join um, that patterns available in my Etsy shop is that fancy floss no, this oh. is all DMC. Yay. Yes, all DMC. Um, awesome. So I'm going to be doing that on one of the fabrics that I dyed. I'm actually doing it on 18 count Ada, which I don't normally use, but I had a piece wow, of that's Ada. Awesome. But it turned out really cool. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be nice on that gray. It's kind of mottled and funky. I think it'll be really pretty. I on like that. Ada sometimes. I do too. When well, I like prairie schoolers, schoolers yeah. for sure. I like the rust, if there was a linen that had the rusticness of like the Fiddler's Cloth, the oatmeal that's kind of got a cooler beige, um, if anybody knows about a linen like that, I would love it. So, so I'll just run through real quick oh. some of the fabrics I dyed. I had, my mom yeah, gave me a pack of uneven weave, and so I dyed a lot of uneven weave. AKA Joanne's kind of discount, discounty, um, I don't know who it's by. I don't even know if they make it anymore. For the most part, I used a lot of Evening Blue and Kelly Green. This is... What is that other one? Was that Evening Blue all completely? No, this had some gray in it. Had some grays in okay. it. Okay. I got on... So if you get on the... I did Rit Dye. If you get on... I just Google it every time. If you Google Rit Dye recipes or formulas, it'll bring you to their page and you can look through their color chart and see what the recipe is. It's really Dilute nice. Dilute it way down. Dilute it, yes. Mm -hmm. um, but you can also change the recipe to like dye a smaller piece. So I just do socks and then it tells you oh, really? the recipe that way. No, okay. Most colors. Some colors are so concentrated that you have to do a bigger. I don't. I just kind of wing it. This is the... Um, Two parts Kelly Green and one part Evening Blue. And so we do half a teaspoon of Kelly Green, a quarter teaspoon of Evening Blue. And it's like the And perfect. then dilute it yeah. with water. So it's like three cups of water um, in the jar that I use. And I do that, mix it up really good, and then I dump about a quarter cup out of that and do more water in it to dilute it. And then this was dunked like for a minute, rinsed, and then baked. And, and mine, perfect. I did on this one, I left it in there for like a half hour. Yeah. So you can see just by time. Time is how you get your depth of color. And then, you know, depending on what color fab, what kind of fabric, this is that same recipe, but like a half an hour. Yeah, see, and, and I And this like, is 28 count. Depending on what you need. Nice and stiff. Well, and different fabrics dye differently. Same, same but just really quick really quick dunk and I might have diluted it a little bit more after this one I think I did I think I dumped more water diluted it more and then dumped this so it's a light aqua what is that is that even weave mm -hmm. so it's kind of nice it's stiff but not like gross stiff so it's going to change not it scratchy. from a 28 to probably closer to a 32 yes at this... least in the in the kind we had because you really have to pop through that, some of the holes I noticed one of the last thing I did. That's green. It's green. That's spring green. That's yeah, pretty. Yeah, it's 
I believe I used um, on the Rit Dye website, I believe I used the mermaid tail recipe. Oh. And honestly, it looks a lot bluer on their recipe card or whatever. But I think it's pretty. It's a pretty spring green. I see bunnies on that. Mm -hmm. Something for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that one so this much. This is more uneven weave. Is that that green on there? Gosh, I don't know. I That's did linen pieces. I did a couple different recipes. This that one's a linen piece. That the unweave. Uh, uneven. That the, oh, yeah, okay. this is the uneven weave. It really takes dye nicely. Yeah. And that doesn't matter if I mean, it's uneven. You can kind of tell the difference there. Depending there on might have been, I think I added a little bit of gray is what I did to that. Okay, so that's to perfect. To that mermaid That's color. like the perfect green. Is that evening blue only with a little gray? Yes. Okay. That evening blue with some gray. And I did take some notes too. I just didn't bring them with me. This is more uneven. Same thing. I that did really find takes out, nicely. it does, I did um, determine that it's much easier to dye in a jar if you have small pieces of fabric. Unless you go in there and shake it a lot. I actually did an 18 by 27, I don't know what is that. I did, and I'll show you what happened. Oh, okay. You have to really, I opened it up and then just kind of shoved it in there. But I went in like every five minutes and would shake it yeah. really good. So if you do that, or you're going to get Or take it out modeling. and then put it back in there. And take it out, put it back in there, shake. I, I, there's one here that I shook for five minutes solid and I still got modeling like this. Um, this is that. That's cool looking. It is, yeah. This is that taupe and pearl gray combination. Which is the same that I dyed that Ada that I'm going to use. So you can kind of tell how Ada dyes differently. And this, I mean, I had this in for probably 45 minutes almost an hour with Ada and this was probably only a half an hour on this uneven weave. It's really fun to experiment. It is. Now. It's addicting. Yeah. I mean once you get through your first sometimes you do it. Well now that I have terrible. the kind of the recipe for my go-to aqua and gray it's fine. And there's a lot of formulas on that page that I told you about but you can also look up Rit Studio Google Rit Dye Studio, and there's so many more colors, too. This is the other part of that platinum. Oh, yeah. See, I need so a piece of that. It got kind of weirdly splotchy in places. But it's cool. It is cool. Did you put that all in at one time? I split it. Oh, okay. Because I was struggling at that point. I have little jars. They're only, like, what's the three-cup one? You have a bigger jar that you use. Oh, well, that's why. That's my problem. Yeah. <laughs> Grab some of the I know. court jars or whatever. And then this was a piece of fabric my mom had that was like a um, ugh, lavender. No, it wasn't lavender. Mob. <laughs> it was awful. It was purpley. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do we, with this. We are not purple people unless no. it's outside in the garden. But I actually, and it's reading quite purple. It's not purple but it's at not all. It's not purple at all. It's um, Thank this is also that evening blue Kelly Green. I did not dilute it at all because I was trying to That'll be fun. Dye the flipping purple out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I ended up purple. I dyed it, it first. It doesn't go good in our house. And I have one that's really modely. I will never stitch on purple, really that's cool. for sure. So yeah, that is cool. cool. I mean, honestly on this, I think it would be beautiful for like just all white stitching would be really pretty on here. Mm -hmm. I pictured maybe even like and some sort of all white, like patriotic for Fourth of July, like stars or that'd be cute. Or you take that primitive gathering too. spray and spritz it for Halloween. Yeah. So then you have uh -huh. the kind of brown over it, it's dark. without having to dunk it, because then it changes the color. Right. And I don't do. <clears throat> that is one thing. This I T dyed this one. That this is the gray. I T dyed that because it was reading quite purple when I had done it. Definitely changes the color. It changes the color. I'm not big on tea dyeing my fabric because I don't It changes everything so quickly. I love that, that not orangey but I don't have a lot of brown in beige in my house and so uh, we don't have really browns and beiges. So. Um, we forgot to say that we're going to kind of do show you how we do our bags at the end. We're going to wait wait the project end. bags. Yeah so that's um, it for my fabric. Yeah, I totally Thanks for we sticking forgot with to me. say that. 
I love your fabric. I know. Um, I just really got addicted to it, and it was so fun, and my daughter was independent playing, so I just would go in and pop them in See how they say independent playing? We just used to say playing out of our hair, and oh my gosh, (laughs) I can get something done like right now. I don't know. I think times have changed. So I want to show, because I said I was going to show my wedding sampler. Don't judge me, people. (laughs) Oh, but it's so beautiful. It's an antique. So this is my wedding sampler, Pam. I'm not going to lie. You see this date here? 1983. I'm old. But anyway, if I had been stitching this, this is an old Leisure Arts, I think, booklet. I did my big things like this when we were being stationed elsewhere um, because, you know, we didn't have sewing things or whatever and I could carry this along. If I had been stitching this with any other thing, I would have never finished it. I am not going to lie. This is all backstitch. This is probably 75% backstitch, which I don't mind doing backstitch, but when it's a lot of... It was a lot. But I love it, and I kind of cherish this piece. I want to order a new frame. This is just from the Goodwill or something. It was not in my budget to have stuff framed um, when I did this probably close to 25 years ago. Oh, when did we move back? 96. Mm-hmm. We did this in 96 as we were leaving Germany. I started it over there and finished it. Many, many, many hours. and. Well, we moved back in 96. Mm-hmm. So I started it over in Germany. And we, um, when the kids would play out in the pool or whatever, I was working on this all summer, I think, that summer. It took a long time. Um, this is not variegated thread. This is change your colors 500 times. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. I mean, you know, it's old-fashioned. It's vintage and I love it. I would love to have a new frame. Um, cut for it eventually. It's on sticky board. I have no problem putting things on sticky board. Um, in fact, I kind of liked this because it made things, and you can't tell, you would never be able to tell, but kind of, these kind of stick up a little bit. So anyway, Pam, here's my, my vintage, um, well, almost 38 years ago I got married. Good Lord. Time goes fast, but there's mine. So I wanted to show that, um, and I also have, someone was asking me about um, my frame. Oh yeah. And I showed it last week that I was, I did not work on this because it hasn't came around again. But this is, I don't know, what's that place called? Oh, Mac? She linked so. it. This is my yeah. frame that I use when I put things on frames. They're in Estonia. Estonia. Um, Estonia. Estonia. Yeah. I have no idea how long it would take to get these now. When I ordered it, it took about, I would say, six weeks. They're very upfront with you and tell you. They're handmade. Um, I love this frame. I don't think it's heavy at all. That's her big thing was, is it heavy? I don't know. I don't use a floor stand because I don't have a lot of space to have stuff like that. But it's big enough because I put big pieces on here that I kind of prop it on the arm of my chair. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's heavy at all. It is awesome, and you can get, just by twisting these, I will show you. This is like drum tight. Drum tight. It's awesome. I love it. It's super easy to do. I do not keep it that tight when I'm not working on it. Um, I loosen it up a little bit. Um, Super easy to put in here. So I hope that answers. I don't think it's heavy. I mean, maybe two pounds, maybe three I mean, I think of like a five pound <laughs> bag of potatoes and it's way light, lighter than that. Yeah. Maybe two, three pounds. Like a laptop? Not even. iPad? Maybe iPad weight, yeah. It probably is about this size, about that weight. Not my so iPad, not, but like a big iPad. <laughs> my iPad. Yeah. I have a Pro, so it's kind of my big, sp- yeah. my big screen. But anyway, so there it is. And when I ordered this, I wish I had gotten more sizes. I ordered two of these, so I have one that's probably, it'll fit half this too. So if I wanted to do something smaller, if I had to do it again, I would have ordered more sizes. But you know, when you don't know how it's gonna be, um, they're not cheap. 
I don't remember what I paid, and I ordered it probably, I want to say five, mm -hmm. probably five years ago. But um, if, if, and I actually have found that I really love stitching on a frame again. I can two hand stitch pretty quick on this. Um, but yeah. So, anyway, that's that. That was one question we had that we totally forgot to address. Mm -hmm. And there was the Heather, Heather's floss, too. So, I think that was it. Yep. And then people were interested in how we do our floss. And you're not going to like it, I'm just going to say. Because <laughs> I'm old school. But I, we are also very limited on our space for storage. Yes. So it's crucial that we keep things. For DMC, we bobbinate. We do. And Store yes, it it's terrible number. to do whatever, but... It's once not that it's, bad. You know, once you're done, you're done. If yeah. I buy a couple, then I have three or four to put in. Do it all. Do it then, because right now I'm working on doing the ones that we bought the last few months. But once I actually sit down and start doing it, it's nice. Yeah. Like I just turn on, call the midwife and <laughs> and bobinate well, after she, she goes to bed. She picks a lot of her own colors, so we turn ours this way, so you can just. And they're easier to pop down in there when you do that, mm -hmm. because sometimes. You know, you go to well, stick one in there and it pops out. And like you're more using pop the out. paper ones too, so they're not as... Yeah. I'm not um, super picky. Like, some of them are paper, some of them are plastic. Not, I don't care. Um, the paper ones are nice because you can write on them with the Sharpie and they dry pretty quickly. The plastic ones, I use those rub off. The sticker falls off, which is really kind of annoying. Well, I do um, mine a little bit different. I fold my sticker down over. There's no way it could fall out. My sticker pops up on yeah, the back. See, I don't because I use like um, 3M... The, like address stickers she uses. I use them and I cut them in strips. I pick one that I don't have. I got a lot of paper in here. Anyway, um, so the sticker basically I wrap it oh, over yeah. the top. It comes down this here. This is one of hers that she's talking about. So it goes under here. There's no way that's going to fall off ever. I just cut little strips. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of work, but it really isn't once you're... Like right now I have like three that need to be done because I'm done. Did so. we pull the same color? Is that 841? No, 451. Oh, weird. Oh, no kidding. Um, but you can see here, yes, it goes under that thread, so that's how it's holding it down, but you can see that it's bubbled up because for whatever yeah. reason, they don't stick to them. I, I know. But on the paper ones, because I had so many to do like over the last six months, I ordered paper, um, just DMC brand, whatever, and, I like and you can too. get the sticker labels. Like DMC, you can get the labels and stick them on there and I don't have issues with those coming off. Is that on the paper one or on the plastic? Paper. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I basically, all of mine, I have five of these. I have almost the whole set of DMC. So I told you, you guys are not going to like this because I don't hang my thread up. I have no room for that whatsoever. Yeah, no, I don't hang it I love how pretty they look, um, but I don't have room for that. So I have five five of these and I have almost the whole DMC set and I have room if you can hear the whole set will fit in five of these so basically and mine's a little different this much space yeah I have the Doris brand I'm pretty sure I couldn't find those when I was Amazon you, yeah they were out when I was yeah. doing it. so basically this much space is all of the DMC floss yeah so I keep mine that way I know people don't love that they love to see I them too I don't have the full kit. Well, and five of them fit the whole DMC in yeah. this much space. Um, okay. And that's... Probably we'll need an order another one. Yeah. Well, well I have likely. an empty hole here. No, I mean like now. I do have an empty hole here, so I should be fine. These are tight. Like I have them in here tight right now. But because I need to do some shifting and I'm bobbinating all of them before I do any of that because I'm going to have to move them all around. Right. And, then, and that's kind of a pain when you add a bunch, but we have... Basically, I have almost the whole set now, so. For DMC, for our working DMCs, instead of throwing them in our project bags, I, we have a working bin. So I label this. So like this is gonna be for that cozy winter um, wishes, the salad that I'm doing. I just labeled it and stuck my gloss in there. The reason I started doing that is because when I first started back at Cross Stitch, you know, you, we were kidding stuff up. 
I couldn't ever find where my floss was. I mean, it was like, oh, is it in that bag? Is it in that bag? Not and the, then you and end I up with like eight different of the same number. Yeah, and I, I don't right have now. a lot of, I've never had more than like five whips until now. Thank you very much. And so, but even then I was kidding stuff up, but I was like over buying. Mm -hmm. And you know, these are two seventy five dollars a piece. I mean, DMC, whatever. Hello again. Hello again. We forgot to. Um, Stop at 45 minutes. <laughs> We're very, this is going to be a long video. So anyway, they were spread everywhere yeah. and it drove me crazy to have to dig through bags and stuff. So I just put them all into one area. This is how I keep my fancy floss for now because I'm going to, we're going to build something for my floss that is a little bit cooler than this, but. Something like this. Yeah. Oh, I can't put that back in there. Labeled. Um, and then if there's like one that we've pulled a couple off of, just goes in the back. And also, I've actually left some on needles back there. If like, oh, yeah. you know, when I used to do that, I don't do that anymore. I have one needle going at one time, but um, you could keep them threaded, threaded back there. So I don't know quite my system yet for my fancy floss. I have a really cool set of drawers that I will keep them in, but like for my working ones, just right now, I have them in my project bags, but no, that's don't. okay because they're in their bags. They don't get all like knotted up. Well, and, and I keep mine all here. Yeah, I probably will end up doing that. This little box I bought. Yeah. So these are, I've got seven whips going. These are all of the fancy floss from all seven of them are in here. So I don't have repeats and all that stuff. I mean, I think I have like eight in dive because I was kidding stuff up. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it just drove me crazy. So this is all my... I mean, and I usually, like right now, I'm not that picky about it. So I'll have like the what I'm working on are all right here. And I just dig through here. There might be some extras that I didn't, you know, completely go back through. Um, I think what I'm going to do is so I'm going to make this right cute, beside me. like little library cards. You know, oh, yeah, to separate to them. To separate them so That'd I can label cute. like the project on them. But because, um, well, you work on more things than a I day. I work out on a ton. And so Especially I'm, for the stuff I'm designing. For three days, I'm working right here. Everything fits right here. Yeah. Here's my little my little garbage, my eyeballs. And also I wanted to show you guys this. So if you don't have room for one of those really, um, you know, people are using the vintage like milk glass. Oh yeah, the big. The big frogs. Can I have some of Is those? Is a frog? Do well, it's not really a frog. A it's, frog. I have like one over there. They stick their scissors all around yeah. it and they make a pincushion, which is super cute. I used just a little ball jar, and this is a Oh, frog. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Because people right are there using the glass me. frogs, too. Yeah, so I just put this, this is a grid. It's like a dollar, I think. you. It's it's a, it's a flower frog, yeah. So if you don't have room for that, I have a couple of these, and I keep my, some scissors. I've got a needle minder here with some needles, which I say I only use one. These are actually, I'm doing some quilting and stuff, too. I, I mean, everything fits right here, so I try to keep everything kind of, compressed compact because when well, I need to because if the kid gets yeah up, and I, I actually bought a new end table to put all my stitching stuff in so I'm really excited about that oopsie poopsie anyway so, so yeah. that's that the working bin has been a lifesaver this is not all I have whip wise but I was so I didn't bring mine in I have the same thing so. I had so many like project bags going with DMC everywhere after Christmas that it was driving me crazy to get started stitching on something so, so find what works for mm -hmm. you. Um, I'm this doing a pull of on right now, and I don't know, there's probably 35 DMC. And if I had those thrown in a bag or something, I'd lose it. Yeah. I, there's no way I could. I mean, just to dig, it's so counterproductive. Well, I like a lot of the same colors because I switch out colors a she lot. She does. I like, you know, the 500s, the aquas, the white, like I use a lot of 3865 and like everything. So I would have like six different 3865 all over the place and then I couldn't find them and I lost my 844. And, and Chicklet gets into stuff. So we mm -hmm. have to make sure um, we can, you know, that back, the little basket where I keep my scissors and everything, I just pick it up and go. She can't scatter bags. She loves to come in. She has things she's got to do and just holy she has her, moly, yeah. boom, everywhere. It's everywhere so it's yeah. hazardous <laughs> to our my foot I <laughs> stepped on one of the little things she did today so so there's organization and I hope we're not talking too fast but yeah whatever <laughs> so um I think that's it for um cross stitching I think so 
besides talking about no, our project? No, I'm going to do a sell starting oh, tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, that's right. With Lisa from Lisa. Starting Monday. Oh, is there three Mondays? I could have swore it was tomorrow. All right, so I'm starting. Maybe it is tomorrow. February 1st. We're Isn't starting the new, not new, it's an older pattern, the potting shed. Yeah, there's 31 days. Okay, well, then I'm starting Monday. Ooh, good, because I got a lot of stuff to do before <laughs> I start this. Um, we're starting this together. Um, and I know Ginger, Ginger Scholl, she's joining in, and Brenda, from Brenda Holzman, um, two wonderful ladies from Instagram. Ginger will keep us moving on this because I swear to goodness, she is the fastest. She whips it out. And she works, too. Yeah. Like, every day. <laughs> Full time. <laughs> she puts us to shame. <laughs> but anyway, so I am excited for this one. I've had it for, I don't know, three years, maybe. Um, yeah, I love it. So And to go with that, wonderful Lisa. Lisa she, Abby. Lisa. Abby from Lisa Abby's Needleworks. She sent me this beautiful, we're gonna call, I don't hang my threads, but um, bag bling. Yeah. And it's got like a little bee and little um, scissors and it's garden theme. So cute. Which is funny because I was gonna make her one, but oh, my stuff took forever to get here. So you'll be getting one of those Lisa uh, gift, so. Anyway, I did get some of that. That's pretty much, we don't have much haul. But I did get some super cute. They took forever to get here. Well, I mean, my goodness. So, yeah. Go. Some little fun. I was hoping to be able to get it out to her, but yeah. whatever. We'll get to it. So I bought some things to make some bag bling. And oh my gosh, how cute are these. Um, so we can decorate our bags. These cute little charms. Super cute. I thought that said that you only get 10, but look how many I got. You sure there's not only Oh, no. Many? There's a pile of them. Here, you want one? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we will one? be starting that. Well, don't be greedy. <laughs> um, well, um, oh, and she sent a cute card that she made. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. How cute is that? So thank you, Lisa. Just go away. You guys have to check her. I know you all do. You all do. She's awesome. So, so I think that is it on cross stitching, right? Yes. Okay. So, on to project bags. Oh yeah, you made. She made some awesome ones. I did not make any. I made project bags out of. Um, I had these towels that I bought at Home Goods a few years ago. I gotta clip that off. Yeah, I need to clip my throat. <laughs> <laughs> it just was like here in my face. Um, I bought some towels from Home Goods a few years ago. I think that it was like Valentine's. It was a set with this, and then it had this silvery like stripe with it. And I thought I would buy them and make pillows, but I'm really not a pillow person. And right now, I really couldn't be a pillow person. They would just get <laughs> thrown everywhere. So I decided to make them into project bags, and it was super easy. Um, even so when I was like running low, you can really deconstruct that. And so we'll kind of show you Towel. with hers and how I do it. It's not going to be a tutorial. It's just going to be kind of a, a basic. Quick little how-to. How-to. Um, super simple. And then I made a giant one. So it's kind of good that you're showing all these different sizes because the size doesn't matter at all. This was another towel that I bought at just like a little country store that we have here in oh. Centralia. Um, they have these towels on Amazon. They do? Yep. Yeah, it is K... Something K Primitives. I will link that below. I have to have that one. Yeah. I want to put that one in a frame. This is, well, I really wanted to make this into a pillow because I thought that is so cute. But again, I'm not a pillow person. And it fits. Well, that's just a pile on the floor now. <laughs> <laughs> it fits one of these project boards like perfectly. So what I've been doing, I don't have it right now because I brought everything over here. I've been putting my um, best friend quilt along, sorry, blocks okay. in here. And then I have like a baggie of my strips and stuff in here. It's big. It's so big that it almost like flops over. But with the project board in there, it's perfect. If you guys have not made any of these yet, it's, oh my gosh. 
it helps keep everything so organized. And, and I've been working on a couple nice different stuff. quilts, and I can stack them up. And mm -hmm. even though there's a lot of pieces, I don't know how I ever lived without them. Well, and it fits in here. Yeah. Because oh, and you can make the smaller ones. And yeah. I had all my threads from when I was doing all that confetti stitching on here. Yeah. I don't know. Make some if you Isn't have it. Um, this is just it. like Walmart. You know how they have those little rolls of like 98 cent fabric? This was a Christmas one last year in 2019. I wish I had more of it. I have some of that. I or did I give that to you? You might have given that to me. The, yeah, it was. There was like a silver sil snowflake with it. I okay, think. yeah. And then this is just like a ticking. That's like not actual. Walmart. Yeah, that's not Walmart fabric. No, this is. I have Real a ton ticking. of this because she gave me a mm -hmm. big wad of it. Um, and then the inside I just did. I did ticking, ticking on the inside of that too. But this one I did. Another fabric you probably gave me. It's a whole bunch of it. I got some threads in there. This for the lining. Maybe you bought that for curtains or something? It Maybe. It seems like I think almost I like did. toweling. Well, like I, a tea yeah. towel. I think I was thinking about doing my kitchen chairs on that, but that would have been insane. There's a ton of it. So yeah, I'm like, I think, well, it's perfect for the inside. I love that color. I love window pane check anyway. Look what I did. I forgot to back it at first, so I only have a little oh, chunk there. But that's okay. It's just a project bag. Yeah. It's totally okay. So those are those project bags. I have another idea for a different project bag using a different something that I'll show you next time. My mom doesn't even know about that. Is it a gift for your mom? Oh, oh, that'll be cute. <laughs> okay, cool. So yeah, just come up with ideas. You don't have to have fabric. I mean, you don't no. even have to use... You can use old linens or whatever. These are the easiest things in the world to make. They really are. So, but we'll get on, get into that at the end in case you, you know, you already know. Oh, we're going to do it at the end. Yeah, we'll yeah, talk, talk to you about it on how we can if you're not interested. Them. So move. what have you been sewing on? And I'm not going to lie. Uh, last night I was going to kind of put a couple bags together in different in steps. Ste steps, but I got sidetracked because, because, get it? Yes. Because <laughs> I made this. <gasps> it is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I think I'm going to put it into a project. I'm going to make this into a project bag. Yeah. Because I got to thinking... And that's why I was talking to uh, Merritt. She had sent me pictures of Merritt Crawford. Um, of some cute mug rugs she had done. And I'm like, finally getting to it. Um, but there is no way I want to set tea down on this guy. I, I don't know. care. I do care. Because mm -hmm. I know what my coasters look like. They look terrible. Well, so. What's the point of them? Well, I don't want to do that with him because he's so cute. <laughs> But so I'm going to make him into a project bag for summer stuff. But oh my gosh, look at this, how cute it was. If you want to work on, and this is from Farm Girl Vintage. Lori Holt. To Lori Holt's book. If you want to work on your quarter inch seam, if you're newer, these are great to do that because throw it into a coaster. Um, you can uh, you can really work on your accuracy. So yeah, you'll see that on mine. <laughs> oh no, yours is cute. And see, and the, you'll see that it doesn't have to be. I mean, this one turned out pretty perfect. Well, the top here got a little wonky, kind of rounded. I'm not sure what happened there. I honestly think part of that is your iron. You need a nice oh, yeah. hot pressed iron. Definitely. Um, I haven't finished this yet. I don't know what I'm going to bind it with. This is the scrappy strawberry out of um, the same book. She had to come shopping at my house for binding. Yeah. I mean, I have fabrics, but everything just seemed to be too much. I almost thought about doing just the yellow. I I like that. Okay. Isn't it no, cute? No, I think it needs red because look at it. Look okay. Like him. I mean, look. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I, I actually have some cut up, so you can do Perfect. that. Perfect. And so, I've never done binding before. So, so I got to teach you how to do new. binding. Um, so I started, I did ball fringe for the first time. I played around with my um, different stitches on the sewing machine this time. It's oh, like you a, did quilt here. See, I haven't it's quilted, quilted it yet. Zigzag. It's quilted zigzag, just straight across here and here, and then I quilted across the lines on here and then just did around the strawberry so it would pop a little bit. So cute. Because this fabric here kind of disappeared, but I feel like quilting it there really helped it to pop into a strawberry. That's a great thing if you're a newer quilter too, to to make bags and stuff because it 
you're learning quilting. how to quilt and buying things without it being like a giant yeah, giant project project placemats so, whatever i love it i love it i too. just did it on a whim this week this was a whim last night because i had i don't know tons of other stuff i was yeah. working on that oh my gosh they're cute thank you Lori holt for coming up yes. with this oh my gosh i don't oh this know. is um flea market fabric most of it the scrappy stuff inside is flea market fabric except except for this check here that little quilt that little charm pack you gave me and then the polka dot and the yellow is not it's just stuff i had in my stash all right that's pam kitty morning or mm, holly holderman old fabric might just be cheapy you think cheapy joanne's mm -hmm. it's quite thin Oh, anyway, yeah. this is all Lori Hold except for the black. I had some black crackle that's truly, like, antique because I've had it for years. But that was fun. I was supposed to be working on my um, best friend's quilt along. But I've done um, four of them. These are week four. I'm going to take my glasses off. It's so really... Um, these are week four. These are the courthouse steps. Um... I'm having so much fun with this. I mm -hmm. never thought I would like doing paper because I, I'm kind of one of those people that are kind of frugal. I don't like to add a lot of extra cost when I'm already buying stuff. But um, they're but really I'm fun. they're fun and everything is so perfect. And I'm not going to lie because this is where I am on week three. But that's okay. <laughs> so I did finish my, there was only four of these blocks, but I'm serious. I would never probably have ever done a six and a half inch pineapple block. yeah pineapple with this had 25 pieces in it yes 25 25 pieces in a six inch block and look how perfect they come out oh you ever ripped them off yet not a no because i'm just gonna wait because i kind of got them piled up evie really likes that yeah, then i'll let her do it um together I, it's a together project it's a it's a time thing i mm -hmm. just haven't had yeah. time to sit and do it and it makes a colossal mess like it really does <laughs> But, um, so I'm, I'm kind of, sort of, I need, I need to do that this weekend, so that's good that it's Monday I start. I did finish my week two one, which oh, yeah. is the economy block. I'm actually staying on track, which I've never, um, I love them so much. Well, I got on to, you know, making project bags and that, um, pillow I was making for her. And see, hers are just slightly different than mine. Same fabric lines, a little bit of everything. Everything Lori And we did very scrappy. Very scrappy. We did all scrappy. I know a lot of people are doing, like, all the same color around. Yeah, like block. Like, this would be yeah. the same fabric. Which is awesome, too. Yeah. I mean, there's so many different ways people or are doing it. Or you could even it. do dark in the middle, light here. It would be really pretty. I wouldn't mind doing a whole quilt like that. That's, yeah, definitely. I want to do that. The economy course. one's really fun and really easy, and it was quick to... These are fun. Have you done... Oh, you haven't got to this yet. I just yet. have this, and I, I have... I accidentally sewed together, <laughs> so... You're super thin. When I first cut these out, I'm like, oh, my goodness. But you get in, you a, get in a, a rhythm, yeah. and you just it's just kind of addicting, so... That one's look, really cute. I yeah, love it's it. turning out. Beautiful. And this shows off all, almost all the fabric, because there's 25. I'm glad you did the pink and red in there. I am, too. I think it it's really pretty. Fun. It's just happy, and mm -hmm. love it. They've been, they've been a lot of fun. So we I've kept up on that, and Heather's almost there. Yeah. Um, Ish. Well, there's only four of the pineapple, but it is a lot. I might work on that tonight. We'll see. My I'm definitely going to finish mess. it because I want to be able to show it off. Yeah, show it off too. But no, just just stay up on top of it. Yeah. Um, like I said, it's my first quilt along, and I tend to procrastinate and not really. Oh, I don't remember what I have to show stay on top of stuff what our walmart quilts oh yeah we'll do that but i do i have been working on one other quilt um it's the snowy wishes did i grab the pattern probably not it's the free pattern that you can find on yeah bear and creek is that what that's called serious people i still think it's very super easy it's all <laughs> it's all squares it's all squares so then they'll be, what else? I have them labeled. I'm not going to be digging into them. But so, got that. They're squares. It's a lot. It's a lot. But and the way tiny. you cut them, <laughs> but you cut them in strips. Oh, okay. So you sew That's them in strips bad. and then you cut them apart that way. 
If you make this later, oh, okay. later yeah, yeah, it's, not, it's not It's not too bad. I mean, a square, I still think a confident beginner because you're basically sewing squares. There's no bias or anything. Label your piles and you'll be good. The one thing I do want to say, can you grab it? It's right there about the pattern. Because I pre-wash everything, sorry, I've got fuzz or something. Um, I was short. Here's the pattern. Um, so it's going to be really cool. I love Irish chains. Um, that's really hard to see. It's free. You can, we've, I think, you've told where you can find it in the yeah. videos. Um, it's linked a couple. Yeah, and it's super back. cute. I mean, this, you can't get this fabric anymore, I'm sure. There's my label. It's really cute. Um, I had bought it as a kit and switched out a bunch of stuff, but because I pre-wash everything, this, I've never had a pattern be so tight on their measurements before, mm -hmm. ever. I mean, I've made a lot of quilts, um, so you're going to have to have enough to make one extra strip, because when I was cut, su or sub-cutting these strips together, if you make this quilt, I was... Anywhere from two short or two two of these short to five. So the measurements are really tight. Make sure you have enough to cut one extra strip of all your fabrics that you got this wide. So um, I ended up having to go back and recut like two little areas, if that makes sense. Um, and it Just could get be extras. a little bit extra. I mean, not a lot. I had most. I think. I think even with the measurements, you have enough to cut that extra mm -hmm. strip that you're sewing together. It's Wilmington prints. Yeah, so um, it was really close, and I've never had that where they cut it that short. And it could have totally been that I do pre-wash everything and shrink it. But like I said, I was like anywhere from two. But that's why we pre-wash and yeah, shrink it. Yeah, <laughs> because I don't want stuff to shrink up so cool. much afterwards yeah. that, you know, you have an issue. So that is my other quote that I've been working on. And honestly, I just got sidetracked. So, I mean, I could be finished with that. I need to finish it over the weekend, though, because i that's the next one I want to send out to be quilted. Oh, yes, and you're on the list for that. We are. I am, and it's yeah. supposed to be feb February. So, good Lord, I can't talk today. And then we talked about um, two videos ago, we made 4th of July, just like picnic quilts using the very cheap Walmart fabric. You know how you can get the like 98 cent fat quarters? I don't think they're 98 cents more anymore. They're not anymore. They're dollar twenty something. Yeah, but still, I mean, my goodness. Yeah. That's really cheap. Although, honestly, I don't know what they are now because I haven't been into no. a Walmart over <laughs> here. So, so, that was so, when I was pregnant. So it was a few summers ago. Yeah, when we bought the fabric. Yeah, definitely. So that was like three so years here ago. Are, um, we someone, wanted to show. Someone wanted to see the difference. See? Oh, yeah, yours is way yeah. redder and mine's way blue. She she used a lot more blue fabrics. Not a lot more, but like the same. She got another roll of them. And I wanted to have mine be more white, but it turned out more red. They're not finished yet. We just have the tops done. Also, we just have to quilt it. I was yeah. I wanted to actually do this. Was it last weekend? I was going to have him set up a set up a, yeah door, but we dropped down into I don't know the freezing yeah, frigid, was and I don't really do cold. well with cold. So, so there's our Walmart quilts. They're I, huge. They are big. They're almost twin size. Yeah, I think they're one block short of being twin. They're twin square. Size. Yeah. Anyway, so. If you're a new quilter, I just want to say Ooh. you do not have to spend a bunch of stuff off the table. If you're learning how to quilt, do something like this. Yeah, I mean, this I, I really played around with. I mean, my points are pretty darn perfect on this one because I pinned the heck out of everything. I used to be just a very like, Meh, I'm gonna just go for it, and then nothing would ever line up right because I was rushing. This one I really took my time on. And so my points are perfect. And I, we worked out a new system. Well, and you're kind of, you were kind of really learning at this point that you really wanted to quilt. Yes. So, but not just crafty like, hey, stuff. Better. Yeah. Um, yeah. But if you're new, go buy inexpensive to see if you like it. You may hate quilting. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know how you could hate quilting, but some people don't enjoy sewing. Or if you just, 
can't I afford think, really yeah. expensive fabric. I mean, this, I mean, this is good quality fabric. This was my budget for many, 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 many years when I was learning how to, and I have quilts from back 30 years ago, um, and my budget did not allow for quilt shop fabric at all. Um, I am going to tell you honestly, there is a difference between this, it may not last 300 years and keep its color, then, um, but we want to use shop. this for outdoor. Yeah, blanket, quilt shop like fabric a, in the car blanket. But I have an in the, I have a car blanket that I made with all the strawberry one, the strawberry one, and it's been washed literally hundreds of times. Yeah. The girls laid outside, um, all discount fabric. Um, I made that over 30 years ago. Well, so. and there's you know, there's a difference. Feel the discount fabric. Some of them are gonna be thinner and just maybe avoid those, but some or of them, make them into bags. But even bags, these, like they stuff. seemed quite thin. They washed up so nice they and did. soft. This is that. What's the brand? It's like Molly and there was something. a brand. There was some Waverly. There was some. I don't remember. There's like a cute brand there. It's not have, just it's Waverly. Newer. It's a newer one. You know where they do on the end cap or they used to. I don't know. We haven't been there. But, but we have some Hobby Lobby. There's some Joanne's. Yeah, some Joanne's. Um, I tried to keep them some. all that. Um, quality of fabric. It's the same stuff that. Um, What's her name? Little Yellow House. Snell at Little Yeah. Yellow. Yellow House, House Craft. Yellow House Craft. She does, she started doing like seasonal place mats out of those little rolls. And I, I mean, honestly, I love quilt shop fabric. Um, there is a huge difference. But don't feel like you, yeah, you don't have to like, have yeah, that. Because I mean, yeah, this quilt, like I said, over time, the dyes and stuff may, I don't know, fade a little bit quicker. But experiment with stuff like this and make placemats and project, well, bags. And project bags because yeah. you don't wash those. Pot holders, you know, like little blankies for kids. Kids, Start here. Yeah. Um, you don't have to start on fabric. Well, that's... we got this idea from Priscilla and Chelsea. Yeah, because she, she used to do Because that at the lot. beginning they did um, a lot of tons. their... Um, yeah, like on their Instagram and stuff, they have like a Christmas one. Chelsea did, I think, right? I, I don't know. I think I mean, both. They, no, they were both. They yeah. were both doing them. They so. would do the same thing where they would just buy them to do like scrappy square quilts. And this, I mean, it works out pretty this quick. This is my favorite kind of quilt. Anyway. Yeah, definitely. So, um, yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Experiment. Have fun. So there's that. There's the difference in those. So I have a little bit of haul to you. Just this, but people wanted to know about that anyway. So Our haul? No, this fabric right here. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Yeah. We had ordered some because of Heather. That I'm gonna blame that one all on you. Pardon? The haul. Because I This? No, this oh, is all oh, okay. on me. So we bought yeah. Can you see who this is from? We had to show you because um we're jumping in. Thimbolina? We're jumping all around. That's so cute. Thimbolina. 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 <laughs> Look how she packaged this from Oh dang it. You didn't bring your well, oh, hold on. Let me go look real quick. Okay. I'll be right back. Look how she packaged this. So Heather had showed this stuff. Can I show yours? Cause yeah, it's, go for it. Um, it's the Hugs. Is it Kisses? I think it's Kisses by Riley Blake. It's just got the little, she had showed her little baby quilt made out of it. Um, and I loved it so much, so I had to order some. Um, but then, you know, because you're on there. I ordered some aqua too, but look how she yeah. packaged this. Yeah, it's so darn cute, and she put a couple little clippy things in there. So I love. No, I forgot. I love the idea. small shops that do that. So it's in my finishing it. drawer. So this is. Um, Debbie went to open this. So I was like, no. Oh, thank you. Oh, that too. Oh yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Basket. They are yeah. baskets. So can I show this now since yeah. it's up here? Oh, but let's talk about this fabric just real quick. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, that looks... It's Kisses, right? Yeah, Kisses by Riley Blake. Okay. Um, good luck finding it. Now I had somebody email me yeah. asking if I... I, it's, I it's said the wrong of, name last but time. But it's also one of their regular lines. Yes, so. they're just out of, I think, out of the white at most places. I bought... I didn't buy the last. There were like six when I bought... Uh, she had six yards left. I bought two yards off of Etsy, a different Etsy shop. But somebody was emailing me about it, and I think she went and probably bought a lot of it after that because it's perfect. It's a great, yeah. 
just wonderful background. So <laughs> I was kind of on a waiting list. Um, I have to, um, for, here, you talk for a second, because i got to grab a pattern. Sorry. sorry, we're all over the place. I'm not sorry. Sorry, we're just... <laughs> It's who we are. So this is what I you used. Won. What? I stepped on that. <laughs> My other daughter got um Oh, it's broken half. Window clings, Valentine's window, window clings, clings. And I just stepped on them. They're like, what are the jello, jello jigglers? <laughs> They're all that hairy was, now. That was disgusting. I had used this in that little mini quilt I was making for Evie. I didn't get that finished yet, but I might in the next week. So I showed this um you want your jello jiggler? This pattern by Coriander coriander quilts that I'd gotten a couple months ago and I got the fabric one because I want I do want to make two of those so I had said I wanted to make two of the snowy wishes quilts I don't want to make two of those <laughs> <laughs> not right now there was a lot of it's not hard it's an easy it quilt. looked like a lot to me there's a lot you got to la label 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 I label just do that anyway yeah it I do. really helps anyway so I had been on the notification list for this fabric just to see, and it came in for that gingham quilt. And oh my gosh, I got this the other day. It's beautiful. I can't, I can't even say enough about it. Look at that. So this is going to be the darker. This will be the big square. And I was waiting to get it, but now I can use that. I can use the Kisses fabric. Yeah. Um, for the white. So gosh, that's not. That is not showing up because it's kind of grayish. It's kind of a soft aqua. Like that? Are you back here? No, that turns it real gray. Turn it in here. Let's do it up against here. Let's see if this will... It's not really showing it accurately. It's more this color right here. The darker. Here. So that'll be... Like that. Yeah, so that'll be the darker with the little stars. And then this will be that right there. And then now the kisses for that. I was waiting because I wasn't sure. Yes, kisses. Yeah. So that's perfect. Oh my gosh. You can't really see it there, but it's no. the tiny X's. Yeah. So, and then I got this. It's all the same line. It's Gingham Gardens by My Mind's Hi. Eye, which was Heather and my eyes. Well, we love that paper. For scrapbooking. For scrapbooking. Band. So I knew I would like this, but I was kind of waiting, you know beautiful for spring and summer just for a cool and I I don't know I may use it in my bedroom I'm surprised it's funkier colors than you I know it's beautiful though oh my gosh it's so pretty it's kind of got a that it's like almost an electric pink yeah just really pops my thought was to jazz up my bedroom a little bit but this is the back so that's that's my hole and the white and this Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've had that for a little bit, but I hadn't showed oh, yeah. it. yeah. So I got this kind of old-fashioned-y, <laughs> you know, the bananas used to be in or whatever. <laughs> but I want to hang this back, back there so I can decorate it seasonally. Um, With little pillows. Little and pillows, frames. and that's why, because I didn't know... These are all going to go in here. So it'll be super cute in here. And then I can do like little, like a little snowman and some snowflake pillows mm -hmm. and stuff. Or at Christmas, you can have like bottle brush trees. Yeah, it'll be fun. I got it off what Amazon. It's fun though. I think this will be a fun decorating piece yeah. in here. Um, oh, you got that off Amazon? Yeah. Good price. Less than 20 bucks, I'm sure. Really? Yeah. Uh, but they're fun. That'd I had cute at the end of my kitchen cabinet. Yes, and see, I thought I was trying to think, would it be cute in the kitchen window? So, with some plants or something. I will be there. renovating my kitchen before too long. <laughs> yeah, we will be. We've been just so busy that, uh, like, one of a million things. So that was my other. I've actually had this for probably, but before the last video, but I think it was less than twenty dollars on Amazon. It's cute. If not, maybe 25 It was really inexpensive. But I think it'll be a fun seasonal piece. Definitely. I don't have really a lot of display. Although I did buy a new... Like vignette type stuff. Yeah, so I did buy a new stitching table. And once I get that all done and set up, we'll we'll do a little tour of yeah. that. Um, it's very neat, but it needs to be painted. Because when I order something and it says white, 
it never comes away. And I showed it on Instagram, and it looks okay on those it pictures. Like. It's yellowy green, beigey. Yeah. Yeah. Darker and, than like a Ray Dunn cup, even. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So. And we're back. Sorry about that. <laughs> She tripped and fell because she's as graceful as her mother and father. <laughs> well, she's we okay have, now. <laughs> her Crocs got caught up on the carpet, yeah. and we have a di holy disaster in here. So, <laughs> so we have no idea where we were or whatever. Um, we'll start from here. So, do you have? I think that's all our sewing. Mm -hmm. All our sewing and stitching this time around. Oh, we need to talk about the project bags. Well, but do you have plans? Let's do that first. So, if you don't want to listen to the project bag. Kind spiel. Of spiel, then, um, yeah. what your, yeah, you can pour the basket out. Um, it's getting close to nap time. We took a long time to prepare, too, so we may not good at plans. No, I don't. might make another project bag. Um, I hopefully will finish my sew in love and FFO it. Yeah, um, and then I'm gonna continue working on the, um, Love Grows Here, one that I'll be releasing soon. Oh, and starting the um, Cozy Winter Wishes stitch along. The one I'm going to do the potting shed. Yep. And just continue on my three-day rotation of what I've got going yep. on. I want to do an embroidery, though, because I think I'd mentioned that last time. I thought I'd get to it, but if you've ever seen this book, it's so cute. Um, It's got, the, like, so many different cute... Cottagey animals, whatever in it. So there's, I want to do um, this little bird right here because I'm going to make a pin cushion. Sorry, I'm out of whatever, out of screen, whatever it's called. I want to do a pin cushion, um, kind of for binding and stuff. I found this really cute pattern. Oh my gosh, the price is like over the whole front of that one so let me take it out real quick um when I was doing some of the Lori Holt things since I already have strips cut up I put a little part of this together it's really cute I saw this at a local quilt shop yeah it's got room for like um Rick rack and then you can what are those clips called? yeah the little wonder clips, wonder clips. so if I'm kind of want to use it for binding um so because I use like four or five of those when I do but I had all this stuff cut out already. So this is like the patchworky yeah. thing. And I'm not going to do any of those. But the little bird will be so cute on there, don't mm -hmm. you think? So yeah. I really want to make that in the next next couple weeks. So, But if you haven't seen this book, it's really cute. I got it at a craft store here, Art Co. Oh. Yeah. So I haven't seen it a lot, but I'm sure they have it on Amazon. By Tuva Publishing. Yeah. They have a website. Yeah. But it's a fun book if you like to embroider. I'm not good at it, but Practice. but it is still cute. So that is my plans. And then my three day whatever. And then there's a valent like a freebie Valentine pillow that I wanna make. Maybe not into a pillow, maybe into a project bag. We'll see. Oh, you'll have to show me that. I don't know if I saw it. Yeah, so. you actually have it over here. Oh, I do. Oh, 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 yes. My, my so, my so quilty life. Don't show that, though. Because that, I think you have to go to her. It's by my so, my so quilty life. There's a, she's got a cute, um, <laughs> cute pillow. There. Can little you hearts. Up? Yeah. And I'll link it. Yeah, she'll link it. It's, um, I do want to do that, too. It's called I Heart You Pillow. It's really cute. Yeah. It's no, my, is it my so quilty life or my? Yes. Yes, it is. I'm, yeah. I'm sure. My so quilty life. Yeah. So check it out. It's really cute for Valentine's Day. And I have some cute, like, Lori, goodness gracious, Lori Holt fabric to use and then some, like, an old um, lake house dry goods Yeah. for the background. I have some cute stuff pulled together for that, so. Yeah, now we'll talk about our project bags because yeah. this is turning into a So anyway, flipper. have a wonderful two weeks if you don't want to listen to our yes. kind of how-to on how I do them. Follow me on Instagram at White House Stitchery and my mom at Carly Court Cottage. And then my Etsy shop is also White House Stitchery. Um, and 
comment below if you want if you have any questions you can reach out to us on instagram or if you just want to chat that's fine too on instagram i love talk talking decorating mm -hmm. um and we do it. try and get to all the comments um, i hope we didn't i i don't think it's hard any. with and i think we're gonna get a a better schedule on well, that and we'll do a um we'll have to have a separate like email too yeah. so it's easier to get a hold of us if you don't do instagram or whatever yeah um but have a wonderful two weeks. And now we'll talk about our project bags if you want to learn about that. So it's do not going to be a blue one. I do. And so this is not going to be a tutorial because honestly, there are lots of tutorials out there for yeah, um, just kind of like the basic idea, I guess, of project bags. And this is not meant, you can still support your makers because there's so many wonderful mm -hmm. project bag makers, makers. out there. Um, we don't ever intend on selling any of these or doing like a behind the sewing machine kind of tutorial. You do not want to see these old hands sewing. But anyway, <laughs> so the basic concept of how I do my bags is like a pillow. So if you think of this being the front, this being the back, that is basically how I sew them together. I construct this piece first your quilted piece so basically make and it doesn't matter like this make a quilt sandwich yep doesn't um absolutely it does not matter what size it is you can do that size you can do orientated this way what is this this is 24 blocks four by six um two and a half inches two and a half do. inches but you could do them one inches you could do them five inches you can do I'm gonna do my bumblebee into one. So that this size doesn't matter. So basically you construct this little piece first. Um, mine is lined and it looks like it's lined, but basically what it is. Thank you very much. Thanks. It is really constructed just like a pillow. Okay, so I do the that little quilted part first down here. And then I basically layer this piece up here. But if you can see, it's just like I've sewn it together, just like a pillow. There is no loose lining or anything. It's just the front and back of your little quilted piece, this piece up top, and this piece in the back. So before you quilt your patchwork, just make sure you have the lining also on there. Yeah, like the if quilt you want sandwich. Patchwork on top. Um, batting. Batting in the middle, and then your, you, whatever you want on the inside on the back, and then you, you know, quilt it. And then you're going to just add your zipper so this piece is completely separate. It doesn't, and I've actually, I really like this size. It's, this mm -hmm. is probably gonna, going to be from, because on this one, this top piece is a little bit and smaller. that's the size I did this one too, yeah. even with the towel. So I did, I cut this piece up here three and a half inches wide. These are two and a half inch squares, and you can construct them. And if you see, I will show you my Halloween one. It doesn't matter. She just flipped it. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. This is what five by five. And I cut five. everything separately. So I'll I'll I do, do my too. patchwork, and then when I have it all sewn together, I measure how wide it is before I cut my three and a half inch mm -hmm. strip. By here. however. Mm -hmm. And then I want. measure for the back then too, because you know if you're a little bit off on your. And um, I trim it down because once I seams. I make the backing or the like this part right here a little bit bigger than where I'm quilting. And so then when it's all quilted, because you know it shrinks up a little bit, um, then I trim it up nice and mm -hmm. nice and clean and then I do that. So after you get your little quilt, basically a tiny little quilt in the front, and it doesn't matter, you can use vintage linens here, you can use one just solid piece a of towel. fabric. A towel a like she did. Mat. Yeah, whatever you mm -hmm. want to do. Then you're just going to basically put your zipper in. There's all kinds of tutorials, but I'm going to tell you that you flip your zipper down, you sew across it, then you fold it up. I run a stitch along here to hold yes, the zipper up. I do too. Um, you don't have to do that. I think it gives it a little bit more stability, but um, and just cleans it up a little and bit. You can kind of see that here. My, sorry, I don't stitch very straight. I'm working on that. Hey, who cares? See how it's stitched down. Um, if you can sew a straight line, you can sew a zipper in. Um, I use the polyester zippers because you can 
you cut them off to any. So basically you have your zipper wider than whatever you need. I probably will do more this size only because I have a lot of zippers that are smaller. So I just ordered 15 inch zippers oh, that's from right. Amazon. A so ton get, of them. Get your zipper bigger than you want because the polyester zippers you just cut down. You cut them down. Um, make sure before you cut them down that your zipper is over here because if you are out here you can't fix that. So also make out. sure when, okay, so you're going to go sew it together like a pillow, right? And normally with the pillow, you leave a hole to turn it inside out. You don't have to do that because you have a zipper. Yeah. So make you're sure you're zipped a little bit though. So you can. Yeah. So, and I just pin them. Actually, I don't pin them. I use the little wonder clips, but you yeah. can pin it. But, um, so you don't even have, you sew all the way around like this after you get your top piece on and your bottom. And I know, see, I'm not good at tutorials. But you just sew it all the way around. And because you have your zip in a little bit, you, you don't, it, you turn it inside out right here. It's that basic of a construction. Um, I do have to say that I, um, I zigzag around mine. You don't have to do that. I just like it a around little bit. What? Around the edge, right here, inside. Oh. You don't have to. I didn't. I also reinforce with See, a zip. See, and I, I, <laughs> I didn't cut this big enough, my lining, but whatever. Because you, you because you didn't um, because I um, did you not quilt the back? I don't quilt the backs anymore, and I will tell you. I why. did. I just did straight lines, but did what you? I pre-cut the backing on this, thinking it was the same size as this here, totally forgetting that I had that extra piece added, and so I was like, whatever, oh, I'll yeah, just yeah, shift yeah. it up. I had more That's fabric, but it's whatever. It's the bottom, and so you don't even see it. So basically, and I forgot to line the top part here, but again, no big deal. No front. Just adding. Back, just like a pillow front back turn and then, it inside out then you turn I don't it. know if other people do it this way um, I haven't watched tutorials I don't know I think I watched one from Suzette the primitive stitcher I don't many many years ago she it, she doesn't do the quilted kind I don't think I don't know but Erica anyway. Arndt has like quilt as you go kind that have like the loose lining she has a ton of different bag tutorials I know this that, is just how we do them yeah I know a fat quarter shop, I believe, has the tutorial for the ones that have, like, the, not acrylic, but... The vinyl. The stuff. vinyl, um, the vinyl front. We've found that... I have honestly, made I've, those. Yeah, we do have some of those. I prefer these, and I think it's just because they're fun to do, you know, to have different things on them. I do. I think they're fun. And, like, I just ordered some of the folktale from Lella Boutique. It's not fabric that I really have in my house but you can do and I don't have blue in my house but you can do have fun themes and stuff yeah it's super cute super basic easy if you have questions let us know I know I get to talking too fast so yeah, I did I, the same thing here where it doesn't it matter just, what size it is no I added it's strips basic. on the side and I did it the same way where I would just if this was a pillow I would have left the bottom open to turn it out and then sew it up but it had the zipper in there yeah it's basic pillow construction, so this doesn't matter. We I, just use batting. You can also use, we have, what's that, stabilizer? I don't like it, though. I have used it. I have I to tell you that um, I used the fusible fleece on here to make it stiff. As you can see, there's nothing in here, and it kind of stands up. Well, these kind of, they're not that much different. No, I like the They're a little stiffness. bit softer in the back, but I'm okay with that. I guess it flops a little bit, but, but I've got not really. I mean, well, you've got twenty-five of them in a row. No, they don't really. No, and you these have them don't filed. flop at all. No. So if you want it a but little bit more, put a project more, board in there too, and yeah. it's not going to flop at all, just like this. Kind of like the softness without, but you can use the fusible. It's fusible interfacing. It's fusible on one side and not the other. And the problem is if you go to when you fuse that on and you go to quilt it, because one side is fused on that interfacing, right? The other side tends to fold under itself a little bit more because it's not quite as fused on there. Or it's not fused on at all. Yeah. So I had more pop problems quilting them. And so I just basically, I don't quilt the back anymore. And I'm not using the the fusible inner. But if you do want them stiffer, you could use that as your back. I don't quilt the top either. I don't either. It's not necessary. It just, the batting gets attached to the top when I put the zipper on. Did I zigzag this one? I zigzag in the inside. You don't have to do that. I'm just really, 
I'm just really picky. And then I wanted to know, does anybody use the batting that comes on the bolt from Walmart? I think it's, is it Pelon? It's Pelon. It's great. I've used it before. You have? Yeah. Okay. I might get a, a bolt of that eventually for projects for, like for this. For project bags. Yeah. Because um, right now I'm just using like warm and natural and I'm like, mm, it's fine. It's kind of I'll stick with my, I see. yeah, but one bag of warm and natural will last you for. That is true. I mean, I'm using scraps, so yeah. I hope that helps. I mean, it's basic construction. This does not matter what size. Make your little baby quilt. Um, you just want to make sure you have, make, you know, a wide enough zipper. Yeah, get wider. I. That's the thing. I'm gonna have to do some like this because I have some smaller ones. Now, if you're using a metal zipper, you can't sew over those, so you'll have snap to snap your needle. Yeah, so you'll have to make sure that your metal zippers, like if are inside of your stitching line. So I use quarter inch seam allowance on everything. But that, you know, that's up to you too. Um, but have fun with them because look, you can practice your quilting. They don't have to be perfect. Now I'm really excited to put this mm -hmm. into a project bag. I, I did that at cute. Christmas time. I did from the vintage Christmas book. I did the um, Christmas lights and I made it into a project bag, so. Yeah, and it's super mm -hmm. cute. So make your baby, your baby quilt or whatever, put your zipper on, flip it up, put this top over it, put the other part of the zipper, make sure this is in, trim them up really good, trim up your backing and sew them together. And flip them out like a pillow. And flip them out, sew them together all the way around. I do reinforce the zipper part. I think I said that. Um, just because it's, you know, I go back and forth a couple times. But yeah. I don't. We'll see how they hold up. They'll hold up fine. Yeah. <laughs> I just, you know, I sew, I've sewn slip covers and stuff. And, and I have it, and I'm able to make them. So. Yeah, so. Well, I'm used to finishing everything in, and then you just flip out, them out. Flip them out. And, and iron them. I trim my corners up a little bit. Yeah. Hey, the angel baby. The hiccups. And, um, and then you just work your corners out to what you like. And because I've sat there and poked him out, from so Lisa Abby. I gave it to her. Oh, she okay. wanted to hold it. So Come here, baby. You want to say hi? There you got it. You can quilt these up here if you want. You can put little buttons. You can put a needle minder, pins, whatever you want, and go crazy. So that is our not tutorial show Spiel. you <laughs> what that we do. So Come here. You want to say hi? Um, Longest video in the history of time, yeah. but she wants to say hi. Can you say hi? Yes, Say hi. Say hi. You want to hold Hold that too. Hold it. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you in two weeks. Have a wonderful. Follow us. Subscribe to us, yeah. and we'll see you. We'll see you soon. later.